Hi guys, I'm gonna show you today how to assemble best unit from IKEA. That's the one here. Gonna have two frames, six doors. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always. Made my day. Let's do it now. We're starting with the bottom panel. We're gonna have four adjustable legs. It's a good thing. If you have an uneven floor or you wanna lift the unit a little bit higher, so just screw them in. And we can do the top panel and bottom panel from the other side. Four screws, just secure them in. Go till the stopper not any deeper otherwise you have a problem to connect with the side panels this is the side panels they have four locks two on each side and we can uh, connect the frame together so the side panel with the bottom panel two locks exactly the same on the other side join together and secure the locks this is the bottom of the wardrobe watch out on which side you put it in just check out the instructions if you put it the other way around I'm gonna be able to slide that in so slide it in all the way make sure two holes on the back are on the top it's all tapped in top panel secure it in sometimes it's easier to position the back when you lift it up just don't forget to lock the top there's two locks on each side and we have frame secured this is the holders for the, if you want to attach the unit on the wall it's two plastic slide them in later on we're gonna position them a little bit lower this is the second unit we're gonna have two of those exactly the same one four adjustable legs and bottom and top panel with the four screws Just secure them in till the stopper don't leave the screws out or two in otherwise you're not gonna be able to connect the frame four locks two on each side place them in Position the arrow in the right direction, important things. And we can secure the frame, two locks, just twist the locks. Exactly the same on the other side, twist the locks. And we can put the back panel. Once again, watch out the position and slide it all in. All the way down and we can position the top panel. Secure it with two locks on each side and we have the second frame ready It's the plastics for the attaching the wardrobe on the wall We're gonna position it a little bit lower Because we have uh, some problem with the wall there. There's easier connection on this part So I just took them out and position them a little bit lower secure them with the two screws drill the hole all the way through if you don't no need to change those you're just gonna go with the original one there is holes already pre-drilled on the top so you don't need to be worried about that we join the frames together there's four screws two on the top and two on the bottom all the way in joining two panels and this is the screws with the washer to secure the unit on the wall that's how it looks there where we gotta go and just secure the screws through the water loop all the way to the wall in this case we have uh, a wooden bit at the back so I don't need to drill anything which is good and cover it with the plastics hinges we're gonna have two hinges on each door this is nice soft closing hinges two screws on each hinge very strong I really like those We're gonna have six doors in total. So we have 12 hinges and two screws securing each hinge. At the end we got like a small rubber, just place that in. It's against the slamming, so the doors are slamming loud. We can position the doors, we're starting from the bottom, securing the each door with the two screws for each hinge so four screws for each door this is the top door two screws on each hinge one size this done don't forget those rubbers just place them in other side exactly the same things secure the hinges two screws on each hinge really like those hinges you're gonna see it later on how nicely they're closing they're very strong so even if you have heavier doors you shouldn't have any problems nice of closing mechanism 
Okay, we're gonna do dividing panels. We're gonna have four dividing panels. This is the brackets, which is they're gonna hold the dividing panels. Just slide the brackets in and secure it with one screw. There's left ones and right ones, so just check the instructions. Don't put the, them on the wrong side, otherwise the dividing panel not gonna match at the front. At the back, you're gonna have a little bit uh, the small hole about one centimeter because they're using exactly the same size of the panel with the shelves so the shelves they gonna lean with the back the if you use them as a dividing panel they're gonna lean with the front lining up with the front so this is the other side two brackets on each side to left and to right that's important and secure them with a screw on each bracket and place the dividing panel this is the last one four brackets again tap them in and secure it with one screw on each bracket and place the dividing panel see there is space at the back that's how it's supposed to be plugs for the shelves to secure them in this is gonna be the pop-up mechanism it's just plastic and then we click the pop-up mechanism there is no door handles that's why exactly the same this is the bottom part so we position this mechanism on the top this is the middle part we're gonna have two on each side so each door have one of these so just secure them in with the two screws and then click in the mechanism this is basically because we're not gonna have any door handles so you just just press on the door and they're gonna pop out and you can open the doors you can adjust the doors there's three screws on each hinge three adjustable screws so you can move the doors up or down in or out secure the dividing panels with the four screws two on each side and we can finish it the wall fixing with another two screws so we get we have four in total and covered with the plastic nice high gloss finish on the doors and that's it the unit is done and this is it best time from ikea hope you enjoyed the video if yes thumbs up subscribe to my channel made my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a beautiful day